Hey guys, so yeah, this is my Premier League video. <laughs> I've already made this before, so I've got second here. But just because I, I was stupid and bound my keys to first and one and two for turning on and off the video, it means that when I try to um, stop the recording, it always cuts off my video. So I just got to change it to like star. Okay, good. So yeah, start now, so that should be, that should be fine. Anyway, second is... Arsenal will be such a good side this year. I can't give them high confidence. They're just, I hate to say it, but they're a Champions League winning side, it looks like. With Sanchez and... Murtisaka, who's been playing mostly really well this season. Ramsey, Giroud scored a couple. It's good all around side to be honest and side does just smash it this year. So yeah. That is that's for you, Owen Llewellyn. It's for you. Third It's Chelsea. Or could you get Slee? I didn't know what I said that. Chesley, oh my god. It's just like a, like a mix between Chester and Chesney. Chesley. Okay, Chelsea. Um, basically, people will be wondering why not in the top two due because they won the league last year. It, it's hard to get figured out in the end, to be honest. Their side isn't looking as strong as it was at the beginning. They get sides of figuring them out. They they weren't really winning convincingly for a Premier League winning side. Nearly drawing with QPR. With Man United, Arsenal dropping points to Newcastle and Tottenham. That is not a side who you can see finishing first or second in two years in a row, and their big players are going to either leave or retire, like John Terry and one Quadrado. Fourth, Man City. A side who you can't see not finishing in the top four. It's gonna be the same top four just because let's look at their squad, that's a squad that should be in the Champions League. They haven't really been playing very well which this season which is why they're not in the top three, but they can pick it up, I don't know. But yeah, not really else to be said there. Just bad shambles. Sometimes they've also had some moments of magic from the bank Aguero. Fifth is Tottenham. Um, they only to keep Harry Kane and Lloris, people like that, and then they'll have a good season. They've started to pick up near the end, trying to catch it, they're catching up to the top four. I reckon they're not on Champions League side yet. They've got to keep the top four already as it was last season. It's teams that you can't see finishing out of it. And so yeah, but they are a Europa League semi-final final side, so... Sixth. Liverpool. Again, another side who has to keep in the top six. Been just the same top six as it was last year. Just mixed up. Liverpool. Decent players like Lallana, Sturridge, Sterling if he stays. Players like that who can either win games, members of Magic. Can't see them finishing out the top six. They've pl they played decently in some games, shockingly in others. They're just one of the sides who you can't see finishing the top four, but one of the sides who you can't be finish finishing out the top ten. So seventh is Southampton. Again, had a decent start. Didn't finish it as strongly as they started it. But I reckon this season, or next season, with some strong signings, spending a decent amount of money, they can stay on they started, start out well again, and just carry it on the whole way through. I reckon they can finish in the top 10, top 7 Europa League spot. So yeah, just a side you can see just doing some magic. They may just give it away there. Everton. Again, another side who have looked decent this season. Managed to beat Man United 3-0, don't know how. 
Absolutely shocking that game. But yeah, United lost them. 3 0, Everton side to it once again. Started out badly, come back up again. And the season, there's some good stuff next season. Beating quite a few decent teams. So yeah, 8th position. 9th. This side really struggled last year. So I, I'm expecting them to come up, bounce back, get a new manager. Um, spend some money because they were quite a decent side so their side should be finishing in top 10 um, spend a little bit of money on the strikers and defence it feels quite solid when they want to play well they play well like when they played against West Ham last game of the season winning 2-0 when they beat Chelsea for example first team to do that this whole season so they're definitely a side who are top 10 worthy but I mean, that's at their best, I need to do that. This one is debatable. Stoke. Another side of a decent season. Not as good as you want to, not as good as they'd want to be, but you'll win some, you'll lose some. This is a side who you can see having a bright season, doing well, particularly people like Boyan, was that. Just, he was supposed to be the new Messi, wasn't he? But he's not finished in the top eight. He just has to be that eight. He's, but he's not. They're not finished in the relegation zone. So tenth, pretty decent. Got some good money out of that. Spend some money. Maybe finish in top eight the next season. Not top eight next season though. Maybe in two seasons time. So yeah. Wrap up this video. All right then. Bye right, guys. I'll be back tomorrow with the with these bottom ten.